Okay, I know we don't have a uh, quorum right now, but I'm gonna go ahead and call this meeting to order. Uh, we have a tight time schedule. Chairperson Lemon Williams said he will he's running a little late. He won't meet before they get started. So officially, let's call this meeting to order. Welcome everyone. Um, does someone offer preference? Mrs. Brown. Okay. Okay. Well, <laughs> he knew I was going to be here. I want to thank you, Mother State. We thank you for this committee and all that it does to bring this city, Lord God, you know, to make it a better city. We lift it up to you and call it blessed. Thank you for all that you take place in this day. And we thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Before we approve the agenda, let me make sure everyone knows know, know everybody. Um, I'm Archie Jones, Human Relations Director, Ms. Brown. Susan Bryan, Downtown Development uh, Manager. Okay. And we have Garland Jones, uh, Chair of CCLP. Irene Brown, Member of the Human Relations Commission. Uh, Terrence Taylor, Human Relations Commission. Mohammed Shahadi, Human Relations Committee. Then we have staff. Uh, oh, Jeffrey Walston, Human Relations Department. Felisa Hunter, Human Relations. Wanda Hawkins, Human Relations Department. Again, thanks for having us. Uh, at our last meeting, I uh, had a couple of requests that wanted to know. The commission was kind of curious about all the things going on downtown. So, um, again, we appreciate uh, that time. We have probably two or three more members coming in, but we can go ahead. The, the agenda is before you. Any corrections or changes to our agenda? Since there are none, uh, we cannot approve the minutes because we need about two more to be present, but we can come back and take care of that. Uh, item number five, um, we have a, one item to follow up with. Um, there was some assignment that was given to me on, on, be, on behalf of the commission involvement with the potential involvement with the Edgewood County School Merger and trying to assist the um, in getting more parental participation in their meetings. We shared those dates with the meetings at the last minute. Um, I did reach out to a representative who's working on that, so I've yet to get a response. I know they have two more meetings coming up in, in the community, and so we will continue to put that information out uh, through our neighborhood meetings, especially those neighborhood meetings that are in Edgewood County. Next item on the agenda, and I will turn it over to our host today. Well, hello, everybody. Thank you all for coming in. Thank you. Uh, a few familiar faces. Terrence. I've been trying to get him to do a little more downtown with me, so hopefully we can make something happen. But um, downtown is moving. If you've seen any of the press, we're getting a lot of really good press, which is um, really good for us. We've had a lot of... Um, new businesses to come, some more business interests, several business openings um, recently. In recent times, we have a Flavors Lounge, which is, um, I call it Elevated Soul Food, on uh, Tarboro Street, on Washington Street, I'm sorry. <clears throat> uh, we just did a grand opening for Cream of Ice, which is um, a neighborhood ice cream shop which is Douglas Block. Uh, we have Christie's Candies um, is coming on Douglas Block as well. She serves candy covered fruits and she's really popular in the community. So if you like candy, sweets, uh, go check her out. Um, we also have 88 Sports. Uh, it's a youth training, a youth sports training facility uh, on Falls Road um, by the Depot Park. And we'll have their grand opening Saturday, or I'm sorry, uh, ribbon cutting Friday, grand opening Saturday. So we have a lot of movement. Um, in addition to that, I'm talking to uh, two restaurants I want to speak to soon. I'm waiting for um, leases to be signed, but speaking to a Mexican restaurant uh, and a seafood restaurant as well. So we're placing a large focus on restaurants. We, we want to, you know, create a diverse food hub. So, you know, hopefully we can get some Asian food and uh, 
uh, Indian food, which is one of my favorites, you know, just a, an eclectic mix of um, different cuisines downtown. So yeah, so we are rolling. It's a lot of, um, a lot of traffic, uh, a lot of marketing, a lot of good press, um, which is great because we didn't have that always. Um, so yeah, we're rolling. In housing, we're placing a focus on housing also. We have a new development at Five Points across from Edgecombe Community College. Um, five Points Crossing, and it's going to be 50 units, I believe it is. Hopefully opening in December. Uh, we have the Davis Loft open, um, I believe it was last year, December, but they're still new as well. And we have um, Fleming Apartments. Um, which is now available for lease. It is on Franklin Street. And we have uh, two other new apartments as well, Studio 13 and Gray Street Flats. So we have a lot of um, apartments coming as well as, we have um, a resident, <clears throat> especially on Main Street because the way the landscape is set up, we'd like to have commercial downstairs and residential upstairs, you know, where possible. Um, and here is a perfect example. Our office is you know, on the ground floor. And then we have a resident upstairs as well. And next door, there's a lot of um, development going on. There, there's um, a storefront, 1,200 square foot storefront. And then there's two apartments that's going to be on top. And then one apartment in the back uh, facing Holly Street. So we have a lot of residents uh, coming, increased foot traffic, more restaurants. Uh, let me not forget to say Cafe Laboratory, if you have not uh, seen or been there. Um, they're from Brooklyn, it's a Haitian patty shop, and she makes her patties every day, fresh from scratch, really, really good, flaky, buttery, in case you're hungry. <laughs> but they're right on Tarboro Street, so um, they're new. Like I said, they are from Brooklyn, um, and they came here, they love the downtown, they love the community, and they were like, let's do it. So they purchased the building, rehab the building, and now they're open for business. Wow. Yeah, so it's a lot going on. Yeah, it's a lot going on downtown. And you can see it. You can ride yeah. through downtown, you can see it. Right, so maybe next time we can take you on a walking tour. We usually <laughs> take our guests on walking tour so you can see, you know, all the development and new businesses and everything that's coming. Well, the 50 unit, you know, is um, considered, you know, a, a large, and also um, across the street, the Davis Loft, which they're full. Um, I believe all of our apartments um, that's available are full, um, except for Fleming. Uh, Fleming Apartments just opened, so we're work working to get those full now. Um, we do have some additional investment that's coming, you know, I can't really, um, you know, speak too much about the um, in total, they will bring an additional uh, 36 apartments. Mm -hmm. yeah. About 20 on Main Street, which includes almost a full block <coughs> of development. Mm -hmm. oh, I have a question about the ADA sports facility. Yes. What type of training are you providing for They are, um, I believe it's for youth vets playing sports currently okay, sports. Mm -hmm, okay. yeah and you know they're in sports and they're looking to potentially um i guess maybe you know perfect their craft mm -hmm. or maybe go to college sports or pro or you know something like that so they're working to train them and they have a website the they do have mm -hmm. a website um their grand opening is friday mm -hmm. or i'm sorry um the ribbon cutting is friday and the grand opening is Saturday, so if you're available, you can go and take a tour. Where is Fleming's apartment? Fleming is on Franklin. Sunset. Yeah. This apartment's right on the right before you get to Fleming's offices. Well, there was apartments a while back, and uh, Kip Metal was brought there. It was brought it. It's kind of like Sip. Oh, okay. So okay. they just renovated all of them. So. Oh, okay. They are really, really nice. Really nice. And that's one thing about our um, our residential um, 
developments here or downtown, we have you know just a, an eclectic mix. So you can go across the street and you'll see lofts, or you'll go to uh, kids' um, dwelling apartments, and it just has so much character and built-ins and original hardwood floors, you know. And then the um, because we want to create um, you know a downtown for everybody where everybody can live, work, and play. We also have the five point um, units are affordable. They're affordable <coughs> units. But we also have um, Harambe Square senior apartments um, as well. And so, yeah. But my family used to lost um, doing a funeral. Do you remember when the family was? And they were very pleased. Mm -hmm. They stayed there and they enjoyed it. Yeah, they're really, really nice. Mm -hmm. That's what they did to hear. We do have several other um, Airbnbs, mm -hmm. um, the Davis Lofts does Airbnbs, uh, Grace Street does Airbnbs and corporate housing as well. And we have um, across the street, Music City Lights, they have two um, Airbnbs um, on top of um, the commercial. Yes. Yes. Quick question. Um, for those who may not know, how does that process go? Does a business contact you, or do you recruit the business? Both. Second question. Um, when it's a competitive process, <clears throat> let's say a business is considering the city of Rocky Mountain, mm -hmm. but it's also looking at maybe another location. Mm -hmm. What incentives or things can you offer to maybe influence the business to come here? Mm -hmm. And lastly, okay, we're gonna have to slow down. <laughs> 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 you know, it's four o'clock. Let me do what it's at. Um, so your first question was, what'd you say? Yeah. Right, because uh, like the do businesses contact you. Yes. yes. Or do you reach out? <laughs> Both. So it is. It's really a mix um, because we have a lot of. Um, a lot of interest in downtown and a lot of press you know that's happening so people will call me and say hey you know i see downtown is moving there's a lot going on you know how can i take part you know and then we'll have a discussion from there um a lot of people refer people to me um, you know that's looking to start a business or our current you know business owners or um if i see something um you know that i would like to see downtown then I would um, market towards that. So for instance, um, the community was like, hey, we want Mexican food, we want seafood, we want this, you know. So I put the word out, you know, uh, through social media and different marketing streams, through my network and connection and like, hey, this is what they're asking for, you know, and if a lot of people are asking for it, you know, I, I want to bring it, so I'll reach out to my network, and they'll reach out to their network, you know, so it's just a, a mix of both. And then secondly, <clears throat> um, downtown, we're not only, I'm not going to say in competition, but, you know, competition with other cities, but also other areas in Rocky Mount, because, you know, downtown is still developing, it's still building, so... You know, some people would look at downtown like, well, you know, I can go over here where it's, you know, more established. Why why should I come downtown? Um, you know, so we do have um, pretty aggressive incentives um, to start your business downtown or relocate your business downtown compared, um, compared to other cities. Um, so most of our incentives right now are for the development of the building. Um, in, in addition to um, equipment, you know, if you want to do a restaurant, you know, we have a grant that will be able to assist you with equipment, you know, just to take some of the, the burden off. So our aggressive um, grants coupled with um, the marketing and the press and, you know, just the newfound breath of fresh air, I would say downtown and interest, you know, from people is a pretty good uh, driver marketing point. Question. Yes. Okay, we need some downtown where everybody goes to every day. Mm -hmm. Bring more attraction. Mm -hmm. For instance, like you get your tags there. Mm -hmm. You know, if you offer them something, come downtown, mm -hmm. offer them a, a place, and then everybody, you know, that's where they get their tags. You know, tags, inspections. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, if we get some of that going on, and we bring more people, different people get mm -hmm. spots downtown. Yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. Now we need a lot down. And in economic development, a lot of it is easier said than done. 
and it takes a long time, um, you know, to develop, especially um, a district, and especially a district and the condition that, you know, downtown Rocky Mountain is in, right? So, obviously, we would love, you know, to have all of that. So, if you know somebody, then you call me. Yeah. 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 Yes, but let me also state that a lot of people look at downtown and they think that downtown is only Main Street, but downtown is much bigger than Main Street. So we have a core district, which obviously is Main Street, that's your core, um, and a few streets you know, aside from that. But downtown is relatively large. We expand all the way out to Gray Street, all the way down to the post office you know, down there. So when you look at the downtown district as a whole, we're pretty large. We have over 1,700 parcels in our downtown district. In the last, mm -hmm, in the last um, study that was done, and obviously we would need an, um, an updated one, we have roughly 4,000 employees. We also have a community college with 850 students. You know, so we have a lot downtown. We have doctors, we have lawyers, we have a dentist office, we have a pediatrician, we have the Imperial Center. You know, we have the event center. So there's a lot downtown. We have post office, and I can go on and on, but there's a lot in the downtown district. It's just that um, the downtown core needs more development. How long have you been doing this? I've been seeing this brother and mom for a long time. I remember what it looked like when you first came down here, too. I bought it downtown in 1999. 1999, uh, okay. I've been on the uh, TCRP board for about 22, 23 years. So I've been on the board. you seen it all. I've seen downtown go through its transition. And, 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 and you know, we're, this is a good time for us. Yeah. Now you see uh, residents living in downtown, which changed the mm -hmm. uh, atmosphere. And like she said, you know, it's, for a long time it was this negative piece of thinking about downtown. Yeah, downtown, yeah, downtown, yeah, downtown. Yeah, but, you know, people have been committed to it. And uh, I've seen six downtown managers since I've been over the So, uh, <laughs> you know, we've seen a lot of transition. We were part of the Douglas Block mm -hmm. coming on. And all the different changes, and so now it's really a great time for I think Rocky Mountain and the residents of Rocky Mountain to just get involved. And, and as I we work closer together, and I said to her that you know residents have a tendency of dictating yeah. what they want in that downtown mm -hmm. as well, and so that's a good thing, you know. Mm -hmm. And and so we are uh, we, we, we 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 I'm really excited about. variety of, of living quarters that are down here and at different prices at different rates so you know it's, it's real competitive and and to me uh, it's done an excellent job in talking Thank to you. the uh, multiple different people who are interested in downtown so mm -hmm. uh, it's a lot of excitement a lot of people are interested in coming and, and, and you know kind of stuff about downtown so, yeah. it's, it's it's a great time uh, in, in Rocky Mountain it's a great time to see and I think if we just keep our foot to it and keep pressing. We will see it transition uh, into what it could be for everybody, mm -hmm. you know. And, uh, so it's a good time. And I, I'm, I'm excited about it. You know, we've sit here, we've sit on the board and seen nothing. And we've sit on the board for years. For years. <laughs> we've sit there and seen, you know, uh, the triples of stuff. You know, the, oh, yeah. I remember the first excitement was the Douglas Block. You know, yeah. the first, yeah. the first major thing was the Douglas mm -hmm. Block. And, yeah. uh, it's done well since it started off, and so now it's spreading out. It's, it's spreading out all the section of Rocky Mountain. Let me ask you this: this the discussion of a um, of an over overpass or overwalk yeah. over yeah. the train tracks. Right. Is that something that would be well? That's downtown too, right? Well, we th th that's the discussion that's <coughs> in the hands of the city right now. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. But we we talked about it. Uh, it's I think that's I think some of the funding is in. That's what I was going to ask. So some of that fun uh, but it's, it's needed, and, yeah. uh, and so uh, matter of fact, we we requested someone to come in and update us on where that is. Gotcha. You know, gotcha. the depot okay. that's down there. They put a new roof on the depot mm -hmm. uh, across from the event center, but not really made a decision on what to put in it yet. Gotcha. So that's another thing that I think uh, will add to downtown when they make a decision on what they want to do with the depot. But it looks.
looks better since they put the new roof on. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. and all they cleaned that up, you know. And so uh, it, it, it's the pieces that come together that add that what makes other things happen. And so mm -hmm. you know, I think with the depot sitting across from the event center, uh, I think it'll be great. You know, a lot of potential. My, right. my desire that we get a hotel downtown. You know, okay. where our guests mm -hmm. is coming in here and want to be close to the event center. You know, mm -hmm. and so I, you know, those are things that I would like to see. concern is that if you don't start bringing in a hotel and things in downtown, those tournaments can go other places. And so that's why the whole vibrancy of downtown is important that, that people come to this city and want to come back. So the ballpark is not in downtown, but that traffic comes through downtown. Yeah. So So it's a lot of, you know, you see a lot of people walking through your downtown that you didn't walk through your downtown. That's right. right. So uh, those are some of the good things that happen. Walking, biking, biking, walking dogs. Walking dogs. Yeah, you know, uh, uh, PNC brought a lot of their employees back downtown when they shut down their uh, other facilities. So now those people are back in downtown now. So now you got them walking back again. So uh, that was a plus for downtown. Uh, shops, mm -hmm. and when you got a group of people who are traveling along with what he said, I'm talking about not just services, but also um, things like clothing stores, mm -hmm. uh, gift shops, yes. like Williamsburg, Virginia, sort uh -huh. of. and that would draw a lot more people downtown as well. Once you get that, we're gonna claim it. That hotel you're talking about. <laughs> when we get that, then. It would do us very well to draw more people downtown and they had something because everybody, you got a lot of little eating places and I love it, mm -hmm. but we also need some specialty shops. Mm -hmm. Like y'all did sort of when Lewis Rock first opened, mm -hmm. and then it kind of filtered away, but we need to bring more of that back here. Right. Because as a child, we we even just walk downtown just to really shop for what we wanted to buy when we didn't have the money to get it. Mm -hmm. And so it would draw a lot more people here if we can kind of push for more specialty shops in town. Right. See, especially since the malls are going yeah. out of business now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then in Raleigh, you know, the uh, warehouse district, yes. <coughs> where they, that's a nice thing, idea, set of yeah, idea. Nice. Mm -hmm. And um, some of these dilapidated buildings that they can go to not make them like a warehouse district. Mm -hmm. There's lots of restaurants inside one place that would be beneficial as well. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's an idea. Great idea. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I bet they got a plan for it. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 you know, yeah, I hope they do. Uh, I go to that a lot and I spend uh -huh. my money in Wake County. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah, I like what you're saying because I, I, mean, I, I think the uh, depot would be an excellent specialist shop. Yes, that's how I was thinking when you said depot. Mm -hmm. Yes. And it's right in walking distance from the right middle of everything. Mm -hmm. And the mm -hmm. history of it. The sheer history of it. Well, we are definitely working on it. Um, one thing that you know has to um, come before that is the rehab of the building. Mm -hmm. So I get, you know, for instance, I, I get so many calls and you know people that want want to come downtown. Mm -hmm. You know, I have a boutique. You know, I have this. I have, you know, mm -hmm. with amazing ideas. Um, um, however, you know, we're working on um, 
rehab in the building so mm -hmm. that we can push them in. So we're at the point now once a building, you know, is rehab and it's available, mm -hmm. it goes so fast, yeah. you know. So, um, you know, as we're uh, moving along and the buildings continue to be rehabbed and, you know, we'll have, um, yeah, we'll have more space and more opportunity and then we can place make not only for residents and citizens, but also for tourists mm -hmm. and, you know, everybody who would want to come downtown. Right, and you uh, got those grants, right? We do have some grants. So are they aware of those grants in the process because a lot of people don't yes. know about the grants? So where, where, where can they get information from the grants? Well, they can always get it. Mm -hmm. They can get in touch with me. They can look on the website, okay. um, on the downtown website, on the city website. They can stop in. They can call me, email me, text me. Okay. Send the bird, you know. Just but, walk in, mm -hmm. knock on the door. Just walk in, <laughs> knock on the door. We are very friendly. Hey, you know, yeah. we want you to come, you know, and give me information. That's so, a great idea. Yeah. How long did this particular this, uh, this was this was part of uh, we I guess part of when uh, Ratio was here doing their, their study this was projected for like two or three years mm -hmm. to come to pass and it finally came to pass this year uh, okay. Okay. to have a downtown uh, in August downtown yeah. so we could be yeah, more boots on the ground yeah. Yeah. to have we, we, we thought of an office being City Hall and yeah, the yeah, yeah. Yeah. everything, but that the office was here, and you were at the entrance of downtown. The staff was here, the office was here. You could just walk in the door and have a conversation right here about downtown and, and get information mm -hmm. based on what you were looking for. So it was projected. Uh, we finally got it this year, but uh, it was supposed to have been in place a little bit around COVID when COVID started and everything got delayed. And so we finally. Uh, it was around fall. It was the spring? Yeah. I had just spring. I just came in spring. Yeah. I, yeah. I don't Early know. Spring. <laughs> I've been mean, working, okay? Which yeah. works <laughs> it works for me because, you know, when we were in City Hall, like I'm the person that's like boots on the ground. I'm walking mm -hmm. and I'm, you know, lost a few pounds from doing that. But you know, so now we've moved down here, you know, I don't have such a long walk <laughs> when I'm down here. Most of the information that you were trying to get from City Hall is in this office. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Just, yeah. 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 More convenient. More one stop for right. trying to make it so that you mm -hmm. can come in and um, get what you need. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> no, I really don't know. Well, the telegram comes to all of our meetings. <laughs> so, <laughs> telegram comes to all the CCRP. Uh, they come to every uh, CCRP. We did not believe it was, you know, maybe generated from, you know, the previous, um, you know, whatever was going on, or the reputation, I would say, of downtown. But it has changed. Yes, it has definitely changed a lot. And even not, I would say, not even um, from citizens. That's not even downtown, but even from when I came, <laughs> the um, downtown stakeholders and business owners, you know, the perception and the relationship has changed because, you know, when I first came and I'm meeting everybody and introducing myself, they had no problem in telling me <laughs> with extreme passion, <laughs> you know, that, <laughs> you know, that it wasn't going to happen, what are you going to do, you know, like that type of thing, but just me really... Um, being in the street, you know, um, walk in and, and being available um, for the people and building relationships um, with everyone individually, but then 
also bringing us in through email and different ways collectively. It has really changed the, the um, relationships, the perception, the reputation, the vibe of downtown within us, um, you know, that work downtown, that live, work, and play downtown. And then, um, you know, it just spread out, I would say. I um, started a Facebook group experience downtown Rocky Mount, and it's grown uh, substantially, you know, in the year and a half that I've been here. I think it started at 700 when I acquired it, and now we're over 3,000. So it's, um, you know, the community, it, they know, you know, they see it. Um, we're extremely engaged. Um, we brought a communications person down um, who sits downtown with me and helps, you know, with the marketing and just make sure that we're consistently, you know, pushing out uh, the true narrative about downtown. You know, the downtown is for everybody. That downtown has a lot, you know, going on. That downtown has a vision that we are moving, you know, and just pushing that out. So it has changed a lot. And, you know, like I said, when I first came, um, you know, when I first sat down, we have been receiving a lot of great press. A, a lot of great press. And when I first um, came, it was the opposite. <laughs> you know, it was a lot of bad press. You know, so now, you know, if you Google downtown or you Google, you, you, you know, you see the articles, it's a complete shift because people are now, they're excited because, you know, now you're seeing some progress, you know, and then, you know, you got a friend and me and, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to, you know, make some things happen for you. So, yeah, so things have really uh, turned around. Sure. I hate to keep saying this, but I have a question I want to ask. Um, did any of the buildings fall in the category of the, um, the preservation funding for buildings that are so historic old? Buildings. Historic preservation. Historic preservation. Uh -huh. We do have some historic uh -huh. buildings. I wonder if they could be kicked into some of the funding or some of the buildings and maybe use their criteria and use their funding. For historical purposes. That's right. They I was thinking there could be another way that someone could get That's that right. building fixed up like they want. That's right. In addition mm -hmm. to the grants, um, mm -hmm. that is um, an additional um, incentive for mm -hmm. owners um, if they would like to, right. because you know it comes with other stipulations. Mm -hmm. Um, when you're dealing with historic preservation, mm -hmm. so, right. <laughs> they do, they do, but sometimes they, they hold that they need to <laughs> Yeah, so I think they may be some of the Chris building and stuff like that, right. you know, they got a lot of mm -hmm. history. That's right, and, mm -hmm. as well as like, you know, the hotel, the, the Carlton House yeah, Hotel, Carlton so there's House. a lot yeah. of buildings here that's um, historical and that could apply, but right. you know, it just really depends on the the developer if they right. want to, right. you know, go through that process yeah. because it's not an easy. It's process. a lot of work, but sometimes it say it saves mm -hmm. you from having to spend. But you have to do their colors, their type of material, and it could drag yeah. out the process right. from here. Sometimes it does. Depends on who you have. Yeah, it's going to process out, though. Yeah, it's going to process out. No, I know it's going to be a little bit. And it's struggle They go up and down. They do. But if you stop flourishing downtown, and then that the developer will kind of like, hey, they're going to weigh it out. It might look better this way or this way, but give them another option. Mm -hmm. So it won't be just everything just under one umbrella. Right. Just, so we make sure they don't have to aware. do it, but it would be a right. good option to do, to have us a choice. Yeah. That's right. In addition, mm -hmm. with our incentives, we make sure that right. we're aware Some families, that. you know, in their estate plans, they have that part as part of their estate plans, whereas they would be able to maybe utilize that resource through their estate plan and help the developer out. But it depends on what building it is. That's, That's just the idea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, we do make sure that they mm -hmm. know um, about the historic tax credits and yeah. the availability to them mm -hmm. if their building applies. And that's also on the website. Right, because yeah. they got a lot of houses not far from here that have been covered by this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to what you do see there's a lot you know behind the scenes that you don't see um, you know that obviously we're not privy to uh, speak about you know in the moment but there is a lot more uh, development and you know a lot of exciting things is coming to downtown so hopefully you know you'll be seeing more of it um, you know 
these larger developments coming soon is really, really exciting. Mm -hmm. You're doing great, Bella. You Thank guys you so much. I appreciate it. Well, mm -hmm. what has happened down here. Thank you. It's, just, it's looking real good. Mm -hmm. it's, been a, it's, it's been a journey. It's been fun. It's been hard. I've cried a few times. <laughs> I <would> call, <laughs> listen, I would call Bishop. <laughs> and he would have to get it Look, together. I would have seen his brother down here <laughs> in his jeans. <laughs> And mm -hmm. a t-shirt, I believe. And that Actually, Karen Briggs and himself. I've seen him doing that down here. <laughs> Every day. He had a church. Is your church still down here? My church. Your church is still down here, yeah. I mean, he even walked out and, and did his word on the street. He did. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> He's down here every day. I'm down here every day. And anytime I need him, I call him at the drop of the dime. Like today, I say, meet me at, meet me at the phone. Go. You know, and he, 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 he got some folks coming, and he come, he coming dressed. The exciting so nice. part of it is, I've said, the exciting part is her. Mm -hmm. She is on the ground. She's walking. She's built awesome relationships there. Mm -hmm. That's what she's done, and people trust her, mm -hmm. and, and that's a, that's the key also. And and you, the question you asked a few minutes ago, the press was bad for a long time. The press was bad. And it wasn't true. Right. It was see, true. See, that's the but thing. it was bad. And she'll tell you, I just started talking to her. <laughs> <laughs> Telegram this year. I wouldn't talk to her for two no, years. I wouldn't give any kind of statement. <laughs> They'd write something, but I wouldn't give any kind of statement. The person has changed. Yeah. It's changed because you cannot deny what's happening. Mm -hmm. And you cannot mm -hmm. deny what the people are saying that are down in downtown. Mm -hmm. A lot of talk before. For people who weren't in downtown, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. talk mm -hmm. about downtown. Right. Now, we'll send a reporter to the to the restaurant. We'll talk to the owner. Yeah. We'll talk to these folks. <laughs> we'll talk to these folks. Yeah. Yeah. And and hear what they have to say. Mm -hmm. And and now we're all saying pretty much the same thing. Mm -hmm. Yes, we still got a lot of things that we want to make better, but it's better now. Mm -hmm. And so, as she said, you know, you read the paper lately, you get good articles that's coming out now. Articles actually coming out by the same person who used to write bad articles. So mm -hmm. it's a good, it's a good, it's a good turnaround. Mm -hmm. And uh, man, I'm excited about that, you know. And and and, and she has really been a, a, I mean, on the ground since she got hired. Mm -hmm. And uh, and every, and they and they see her, you know. And so it's a good thing to see her uh, do what she's doing. And, and I, I'm, I'm excited about what's to come. Uh, and, and 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 just the, just the fact that. You all want to hear about it. It's, it's exciting to me, you know, that other folks want to hear. They see it, they want to hear what's going on, and they get to see what's going on. And, and you know, one one year, uh, 2008, this was my rental office. I had a fire at my church in 2007, and I was out of my building for almost 10 months. And I rented this same room for my office for almost a year, you know, and, and it was an insurance company back at the uh, uh, state. Yeah, all state was back there and, and, and they and the uh, family lived upstairs. So mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's been a lot of things that turned over for thirty years, but we've stayed right here and kept right to it. And so uh, these are good days. These are good days. Yeah. Good days. You know, it's good to see the vision that the city leaders had twelve, fifteen years ago. Mm -hmm. And you know, mentioned stuff with the Davis Block Bill. Yes. Is it any way that we can get a piece of paper with all the names and the locations? 
the new the businesses. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're working on. Uh, yeah, it has to be updated. So we're working. We have an intern working on um, a flyer now. So okay. once it goes out, we send it out on social media and everywhere. And I'll make sure that um, I can send it to Mr. Archie, mm -hmm. and then you can send it to the board members. Does that okay. work? Good. Okay. Okay, we have a couple more items on the agenda. We want to uh, actually remind the commission that uh, you know we passed out information at the previous meeting about the service and management award. Uh, that's something that's um, involvement that this commission has in the MLK uh, unity director, which will be January 15, 2024. So, and uh, please be reminded we are hoping to have that concluded uh, at our November meeting. If you need the information that was provided, just let us know. We can send it. Uh, and if you have any questions about follow-up or contact with any uh, one, we are here to assist. Archie, on that note, I do have a person's name. I want to go ahead and submit it. Awesome. Um, it's the same general I submitted last year, but it turned out last year you were honoring an organization. An organization, right. And um, plus, the award went to an excellent group. This loyalty, exactly. you can't uh, can't say it enough. But this is I made some copies of a brief resume about him. You all can take this and take a look at it. It's James Mercer. Um, he um, this young man has done a lot in the community. And is still doing a lot in the community. Uh, most notably, he started the Mercer Foundation out of um, uh, Thorns Chapel, and um, they. Pass out. Uh, they've got a, um, a food pantry over there. Those guys pass out two or three tons of food at a time. They're passing out food. As a matter of fact, they don't seem to look at do it every Tuesday. I'm not sure, but they feed a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Plus, he's got a, um, a a home for veterans. Mm -hmm. uh, veterans who may be on the street. Uh, they've got a home for veterans. And um, but really, um, a lot of people don't know, too, that doing Hurricane Floyd, all of you in here should remember Hurricane Floyd if you're from here. I don't know if you're from here or not. But um, James Mercer was in charge of emergency response for the county okay. uh, during that time. He, uh, he was the one who called in the helicopters and called in all of the additional rescue uh, equipment and personnel and he was oversaw all of the shelters that were out at that time. Uh, you all remember FEMA Park? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. all of that was on James Mercer's watch. Yeah. Uh, and so, to my knowledge, I don't think there's ever been a public thank you, you know, for what he did. He was the one who was in charge of emergency response during that time. So um, that was just an amazing job. Plus, to add to that, and some of this information is on that second page there. Uh, this guy was called up during the Iraq War. He, he's in the Army National Guard. He served in Iraq for over, a, right at a year. And then when he came back to this area, he just picked right back up where he left off at doing these types of things. And so um, I gracefully submit his name for you all to consider him this year. I think he'd be a worthy, worthy recipient. Did everybody hear the package? That's Okay. Regarding that? Oh, he also just preached his trial sermon, too. He's now been stuff to add. Also, <laughs> <Wesleyan Chapel. laughs> uh, Yeah, he works at Wesleyan. I think he's in charge of the military yeah. program over there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you, Chairman. Uh, we don't have a question.
record. Here's the new one. No, we oh, okay, yeah. cool. Right. Any other comments or concerns from the commission? I just add do the announcements, and there are two just reminding you that there are two events going well, a couple events going on in the next couple weekends. Uh, this weekend coming up is the barbecue throwdown downtown starting Friday afternoon and Saturday. Uh, we expect some rain Saturday, but hopefully, hope, hopefully it doesn't rain about totally. Uh, that's a big event, and um, that's another event for rain stuff downtown. Right. Following weekend, we have two pretty large uh, neighborhood association and a church uh, event going on. Um, the Edge my community, which is not far from here, and when we talk about communities and neighborhoods coming back, Edge Mount is really it's about outstanding things going on over there, just a couple of blocks from here. They have a community day event at the East Avenue Park, and that's on Saturday, October 21st. And then also on the 21st, um, the event called Unity and Harmony in the Community, it will be at True Tabernacle Church on Austin Street. That's in the southeast part of Rocky Mountain. So those are two major neighborhood events that are going on along with the event this weekend. Any other announcements? October 21st also is the date of our 50th class reunion. Proud of it. Proud of it. And here's what is really unique about that class reunion is this. This and this was from Southern Nash. Mm -hmm. And then Northern Nash is having their reunion on the same day. Okay. Uh, these were the two classes of students in 1968 who showed up at their school to be told they were going to go to different schools. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that was when they fully implement, implemented integration. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and so uh, some of us are trying to actually get together from Northern Nash here because there are students that we went to school with that we were all like pulled apart. A lot has happened since then. So uh, we're just uh, excited about that. Ours is at the Moose Lodge, theirs is at um, Double Tree, I believe. One thing from the Human Relations Office, um, the first meeting for this year of the Rockwell Area Youth Council will take place next week. Uh, so if you know of any high school students that uh, want to be involved in community activities and learn how city and state government operate, they can go on the website, Human Relations, and look at uh, look up the Rockwell Area Youth Council. We have an advisor here, Felicia Humphrey. Um, and so that's... Uh, and that's a correction with the date. I'm sorry, it's the 25th. It's our first meeting. The 25th of October. Yes, okay. Normally it's the third Wednesday of the month, but we had to change it. Okay. Any, uh, we have anybody in the public here for public comments? Don't see anyone? Yes, I would just like to add, uh, okay. I know it hadn't been mentioned. I don't know what you heard from Teresa, one of your board members, but uh, she's not here today because she's got to go file for runoff. She had to go to Nashville and she had to go to Tarboro. And you should be seeing a press release sometime this evening. Okay. So she's in a runoff against the mayor. The election will be November the 7th. There you have it. Thanks for sharing that. Yep. Any other comments or concerns? Chairman, are we okay? We can adjourn? Absolutely. We uh we never get caught going, so you know. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all for coming. Thank you all. Thank you guys. I've done so much. 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 I've done